Welcome back third grade scientists. This week you will be taking your unit assessment in unit four weather and climate. Today you are going to be asked to, ex to explain the characteristics of some of the extreme weather conditions we learned about throughout this unit and ways to protect yourself from those conditions. So let's review some of these extreme weather conditions and ways to protect ourselves. Today we will review examples of extreme weather conditions, their characteristics, and ways to protect yourself during these weather events. Can you name this extreme weather condition and its characteristics? This is a hurricane. A hurricane is a large rotating storm with high speed winds that forms over warm waters in tropical areas. Hurricanes have sustained winds of at least 74 miles per hour and an area of low pressure in the center called the eye. What are some ways to protect yourself during a hurricane? Well, during a hurricane, you should stay indoors and away from low-lying flood-prone areas. If your home isn't on higher ground or if you live near the ocean, very close to the water, you should go to a shelter. If you are told by your community to evacuate, you should do so immediately. Can you name this extreme weather condition and its characteristics? This is a tornado. Tornadoes are one of the most violent and powerful types of weather. They are made up of a very fast rotating column of air that usually forms a funnel shape. They can be very dangerous as their high speed winds can break apart buildings, knock down trees, and even toss cars in the air. What are some ways to protect yourself during a tornado? During a tornado, you should go to a basement or the lowest inside room in your house, like a bathroom or closet, away from glass. Do not stay in your car. Try to get underneath a table or sturdy piece of furniture for protection. Can you name this or these extreme weather conditions and their characteristics? This is lightning and lightning is usually part of a thunderstorm. Lightning is a powerful blast of electricity that can form in thunderstorms, which bring high winds and heavy rain and strike the earth with a powerful force. In order for lightning to occur, first high winds within a thunderstorm cause ice and water particles to bump against each other at high speeds and build up an electrical charge. What are some ways to protect yourself from lightning and during a thunderstorm? During a lightning or thunderstorm, be sure to get inside. Don't stand under a tree or hold something metal up in the air like an umbrella or a golf club. Also, be sure to get out of the water if you're swimming. Do not swim in a pool during a thunderstorm. Can you name this extreme weather condition and its characteristics? This is a blizzard. A blizzard is a long lasting snowstorm with very strong winds and intense snowfall. During a blizzard, the wind blows at speeds of more than 35 miles per hour for at least three hours. When a severe blizzard becomes so bad that it is impossible to see where the ground ends and the air begins, it is called a whiteout. What are some ways to protect yourself during a blizzard? During a blizzard, you should stay indoors and dress warmly. If you do have to go outside, wear layered clothing and clothing for protection, such as hats, gloves, and boots. Don't drive your car during a blizzard. Can you name this final extreme weather condition and its characteristics? This is an example of a drought. A drought is a continuous period of dry weather where an area gets less than its normal amount of rain. Droughts can be dangerous because crops and other plants need water to grow and land animals need water to live. What are some ways to protect yourself during a drought? During a drought, you should try your best to conserve water. Don't leave your faucet running, 
take showers instead of baths and place a bucket in your shower to catch the extra water and use that water to water the plants. You've done a great job reviewing these extreme weather conditions, their characteristics and ways to protect yourself. Please use this video as a study tool for your unit assessment today and good luck third grade scientists.